Uh, I wish to be there with all of you as my first participation in Euro Clio, but unfortunately UK immigration refused to give me a visa to attend. Anyway, I paid the price of what's happening around my homeland, Lebanon. I hope this refusal won't affect getting visa next time I'll be part of the conference. Um, I'll start by saying a small church about Lebanon. Lebanon lives 17 different religious denominations. They fought over 15 years in a savage civil war from 1975 till 1990, where many were killed or injured. It's had a strong impact on writing history as well. The generation grew up with an extreme loyalty to their political religious leader. They say what he says, do what he orders without questioning or arguing. Many historians followed political leaders as well. And the, only, and the one and only historical narration started to take place among them. And this point and on curriculums are locked in drawers because of disagreements on narrations, and sometimes one single word. The last disagreement was in 2010. All these issues made a big gap between curriculum and history teachers, and on the other hand between history teachers and new teaching strategies. I can brief the challenges in six short points. Many history teachers are in a way or another related to a political party, which leads to clashing historical classes. History curriculum needs immediate open heart surgery, and it's built upon one narration only, even though many don't trust or have a different one. Technology can't be afforded or available in classroom, and most teachers aren't familiar with using technology. No online resources are available for both teachers and students in our native language. No training for history teachers and memorizing is the only strategy for teachers to deal with history lesson. And the bad economy in Lebanon and low financial status for teachers. And the, the challenges. On the other hand, there is serious work from local organizations to improve history education and train the teachers on new methods and strategies. One of these efforts of the training is the association that I represent, Lebanese Association for History, which is leading a series of workshops in different Lebanese states and history teachers will be trained on cause and consequence, change and continuity, and historical evidence. We hope that the association will be a light in the dark and make change not only in Lebanon but in our region as well. Uh, thank you, and I apologize for my bad English. <laughs> so that's the contribution from Khalat, and um, we tried to get it on video as well, but too complicated. So um, now.